Alright, so I've been playing against this deck a lot lately. I don't really know what to call it, so I just called it Plant Dragons. I'll probably think of a more fancier name when I make the video description, though. So anyways, I'm just going to go through the deck list first, and then I'll explain everything about it. So we got one Flame Veil Guard, Triple Blaster, Triple... was it Tidal? Triple Tempest, Triple Redox, one Mech Beast Tether Wolf, Double Debris, one Lone Fire, Double Car Trooper, one Dandy, two Maxi, one Spore, Triple Evect Vealer, one One for One, one Mind Control, two Seven Star Sword, one Dark Hole, one Gold Sakoff, one Foolish Burial, two MSTs, two Scapegoats, two Different Dimensional Reincarnation, and one return from the different dimension. The extra deck, one Star Eater, one Shooting Star, one Crimson Blader, one Scrap Dragon, one Stardust, two Black Rose, one Orient Dragon, one Ally of Justice, one Armory Arm, one Mistbird Colossus, one Formula Synchron, two Draco Sacks, and a Big Eye. Alright, so Flame Veil Guard, because it's a target for one for one, and can be sent to your hand with Blaster Search Effect if you remove and play with Gold Sarcophagus. Uh, Tidal, just because he's a Dragon Ruler, he's probably the least used one in this deck, because the only good effect he has is being able to send Dandelion to the graveyard, but I don't think you really want to use that effect. But you can, and it is an option, so... Tempest is probably going to be your main target to be banished with Gold Sarcophagus or Seven Stars. That way you can add Debris Dragon to your hand. Redox, he has lots of Earth targets. You know, Maxi, Car Trooper. You probably want to leave at least one of these in your graveyard, though, just in case Debris Dragon or Dandelion's not there yet. Uh, Mech Phantom Beast Tether Wolf. He's great with all the tokens you're going to be getting through Scapegoat. He also summons a token himself, which is good in any kind of synchro deck, especially since its token is level 3, which can go for some easy rank 7s. Uh, with Black Rose Dragon to just blow up the field. And he can also tribute a token to go it up to 2500 attack, you know, when he's attacked or when he attacks. This card is actually really good. Uh, Debris Dragon, the bread and butter of this deck, which allows it to be more viable. Debris Dragon can only synchro into uh, dragon types. That's why there's a lot of dragons. So your main target is to go for one of these level 3 ones, that all have less than 500 attack when they're in the grave, and bring out Black Rose Dragon to blow up the field. Or, Debris Dragon can go with one of the dragon rulers and go for Star Eater Dragon, another really good card where your opponent, where he's immune to uh, cards that target him or affect him, so you can attack Longhead into a dimensional prison or a mere forest without fear of being killed. And his special summon also can't be negated through a Solemn, and you also can't activate ter Torrental Tribute when he's brought out. Lone Fire is part of the plant engine. The plant engine is Spore, one Spore, one Lone Fire, and one Dandelion, and that's pretty much all you need for the Synchro Plant Engine, because these three cards synergize with each other so well. Card Trooper is for the mill. Now, Card Trooper is an Earth target for Redox. He also mills, you know, to get all these cards to the graveyard, because you do want some kind of mill in this deck. He's also a target for Debris Dragon to bring out Stardust, and if he's destroyed, you get to draw a card. He is so good, and I wish you could run more than two of these cards in your deck. If this card was ever limited to one, you'd probably have to go with the Light Sworn Mill tactic, which isn't anywhere near as good as Car Trooper. He's so much better. Well, I guess Ryok's okay, but Car Trooper's level 3, and a target for Debris Dragon. Dandelion's part of the, the Plant Seeker, like I just mentioned. Maxi. I don't like running this card in my deck, because... Whenever I do run it, uh, I always draw into all of them, and my opponent never special summons, and I hate that. So I only ever run two, but this Maxi is great. It's not only a target for Debris Dragon, if you want to go for Orange Dragon to banish one of your opponent's Synchro Monsters, with the new Fire Fist being a thing, they go for Synchros, so this card can banish it if you want to do that. And you can draw off your opponent's special summon like crazy if you are going against Fire Fist. 
uh, spore part of the plant engine, evac dealer. This is your only form of evac effect negation in the deck, which kind of sucks. I really wanted to tack in two breakthrough skills, but I just couldn't find a way because all the other cards are so much better. And I do have a Vec Dealer, so I don't know if that'll bite me in the ass, but I don't know. I'll have to play test, I guess. One for one, it's a synchro deck, and you don't actually mind cards going to the grave. Discard Dandelion, bring out either Flame Velgard, a Vec Dealer, or Spore. And there are some other people who like to tech in Corsica, so you can bring that out too if you want. I don't really see the point in using uh, Corsica because the Breeze Dragon is a better target for. Uh, Tempest Search. Mind Control. This card can win you games and is really only good in Synchro decks. Um, Treasure Sword of the Seven Stars. I don't really see a point in running three, but you can. Blar Dark Hole. I don't really like running it, but it's pretty good in this deck. Um, Golden Sarcophagus. Obviously to banish one of the Dragon Rulers and gain their effect. Most likely want to use it on Tempest to bring out the Breeze Dragon or Blaster, you know, to bring out another Blaster or Flame Bell Guard. Uh, the Foolish Burial to send Dandelion to the Grave or Spore. Mystical Space Typhoon because of decks that play Vanity's Fiend or Skill Drain, you want to get rid of those. Scapegoat. I haven't really tried three, so I don't know how two will work out. Well, actually, I have tried three. It seems like I was drawn to all of them, and I never have the room to actually use it. Scapegoat is great for fueling up Drago Sack's effect, you know, where he can't be destroyed, or for Tether Beast, because you can distribute any token, and if there are any tokens, he can't be destroyed. And Tether Beast is pretty beast. And you can also use it to go for some easy formula synchrons to bring out Stardust Dragon and go into Shooting Star Dragon, which is actually very possible in this deck. And that's great, because Shooting Star Dragon is actually not half bad. DDR, this card has actually seen a lot of play now, you know, to bring back the Dragon Rulers. And the discard cost isn't really a factor in this deck. Because, basically, this is a very turbo-heavy deck. You're going for a really quick play. So if the game does drag on, this card probably won't be as great. But it can help you win fast, because Spanish, you know, your Dragon Rulers and then bring one back, going for either Draco Sack or a Big Eye, or Synchro into a Star Eater Dragon, or... Actually, there's... Oh yeah, you can also go into, you know, Crimson Blader with one of the level ones. Or Scrap Dragon. Yeah. It's really good. And then Return, obviously, because that's also great. And the extra deck, Star Eater, because Debris plus Dragon Ruler equals Star Eater. Shooting Star Dragon because Token plus one of the mini level 1 tuners, or, you know, brought up with 1 for 1, equals Formula Synchron. And Dragon Ruler plus level 1 tuner equals Stardust. Stardust plus Formula Synchron equals Shooting Star Dragon. Crimson Blader because level 1 plus level 7 equals Crimson Blader. Same thing with Scrap Dragon and obviously Stardust. Black Rose Dragon to blow up the field. Debris Dragon plus Lone Fire plus Car Trooper or Dandelion equals blowing up the field. Or into Dragon, Debris Dragon plus Maxi equals banishing one of your opponent's uh, uh, Synchro Monsters. Ally of Justice, Catastrophor. Catastrophor. Catastor. Oh, I can't say his name. Anyways, you can only go with him with probably Spore or Evac Bueller or Flame Velgard. And Nisbird Colossus is really good. You can negate one of your opponent's effects and make his attack zero. That effect is... it's so good, and it's easy with the token engine that this deck runs. And of course, Formula Synchron plus tokens and level 1 tuners. And two Draco Sacks and one Big Eye, because Draco Sack is better than Big Eye. Unless... because if you're going for a first turn XYZ, you want to bring out Draco Sacks because he's pretty hard to kill. If it's second turn or your opponent has a big field, big eye. And this is really a turbo deck, so you don't want the duel to last that long anyway.